Ivan Delaware County Memorial Hospital in Drexel Hill is Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli. Chad, you have studied the data. What have you learned? Jim, the outlook is grim. With any data analysis, you have plenty of variables and certain assumptions. But what is clear and what we found is if people do not practice social distancing, hospital bed capacity will be overwhelmed. As testing picks up and infection numbers begin to multiply, health officials are worried our hospitals will get overwhelmed. An Action News data analysis found that if more than just 1% of the region gets the COVID-19 virus, hospital beds could be over capacity. The analysis assumes a 15% hospitalization rate and that half of all hospital beds in Pennsylvania and New Jersey are already filled with patients for other illnesses and conditions. Darren Spillman is a public policy expert at Rutgers University and performed a similar study for New Jersey cited by Governor Phil Murphy. Right now, the model predicts in mid-October, we, we will be over capacity by some 33,000 hospital beds. Health officials across the region are taking measures to prepare. States are now waiving capacity regulations to bring more beds into the fold. New Jersey has requested support from the U.S. military to help expand intensive care unit capacity. And new beds are already being put in place. 260 additional beds can be brought online and will be prepared today. The Action News analysis found Lehigh, Philadelphia, Salem, and Camden counties have some of the best bed capacity per capita in South Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania. Chester, Bucks, Cumberland, and Burlington counties are among the worst. Philadelphia Health Commissioner Dr. Thomas Farley says Philadelphia hospitals are in a good position currently with its 6,200 beds. Right now, because the hospitals have canceled elective surgery and have done everything it could to provide additional space, our census is at an unusual low point. And if you'd like to see the full analysis, you can go to our website, 6abc.com. I'm live and up.